and occurrences that was going on and now that they're resolved <laughs> I've come back and I feel completely different today compared to my other days it's a little bit of uneasiness and at the same time it's a little bit of a big old sigh of relief because I have been dealing with this situation for quite some time now a little too long and one thing I've never liked is to play the fool and I think that the first time I played the fool then that was him on that person that they shouldn't have done me like that but to have the same thing happen in my case not once but like damn near 10 15 20 times really about a second time it was shame on me because I allowed for that situation to continue to go on. I honestly felt like I was just on this roller coaster ride, this horrible roller coaster ride, and it's like I just couldn't get off. And I couldn't figure out why. And I keep trying to find ways to get off, thinking that maybe if I jump off, or maybe if I throw something down and mess with the mechanics of everything, it'll just stop and then I can climb down. I mean, I was just coming up with so many different ways to try to get off this roller coaster. And not knowing that the whole entire time that I was the one really controlling the roller coaster. I was the one who was allowing myself to be on that ride and to continue to be on that ride and the only way that I was actually going to get off was for me to fully and commit and to be fully committed to my decision to get off. And I guess it has a lot to do with my patience level. I'm very patient. Um, sometimes it can be misconstrued as being naive or being very soft, but eventually. Even the softest things after being drug around, just uncared for, ends up not so nice and soft anymore, tattered, dirty. And that's just, well not dirty, but <laughs> I'm not dirty, <laughs> but you just end up angered and mean. And what I realized is that I'm I'm really a nice person, but with this whole situation that I've been going through, I've just become so mean and so cruel and so just not myself. Like, literally, I think I've taken on this, like I'm bitter. And that's not cool. That's not a good look. I'm not trying to get wrinkles at my age, you know, just being bitter and just just frown all the time just being so angry and then trying to figure out who am I angry at am I angry at this person or am I angry at that person and really I'm angry at myself because I'm allowing this to happen and I'm allowing myself to stay in it and continue being in it knowing that it's going on and really just not doing a damn thing about it. Like if I don't do anything about it, but just to get up and leave. Like I really just couldn't understand why I just couldn't get up and leave. And I tried so many ways to get out of it, like I said before, and it just was not working. And finally, a situation occurred where like all the, everything just connected. Like everything just made beautiful sense. 
And I was just so shocked, like, wow. I finally connected the dots. The dots have always been connected, to be honest. It's just that I finally realized, or something just finally kicked me in my head and said, yo, come on now. Don't you think you've had enough? And you can, a nice person can only take so much of a person stepping and walking all over them before they say, look, what the fuck is up? Like, stop walking all over me. I'm tired of this. And to get our nice ass up and hit the road. And about two days ago, my rug looking ass got up and said, nah, that's enough. I'm out. And the funny thing about it is that when I was coming up with my goals and things, you know, goals and accomplishments for 08, one of the things, it wasn't really so much of a goal, but it was a question that I was asking myself. And I said, by the end of 08, or at least some point in 08, I was going to answer that question. Not only was I going to answer it, but since it's on my goal list, I was going to stick by it and be committed to the answer that I gave to it. And lo and behold, the situation happened, and it's like, wow. You know, my goal list is over there. <laughs> I answered it. And I was like, okay. So now, all I have to do is just stay committed to it. Because, you know, it's very hard when you're so accustomed to something and being in something for so long that once you're out of it, it can, you can be easily tempted to go back to it. So that's why I put it on my goal list. It wasn't just me asking myself a question. I put it on the goal list because this is something that once I made my decision, I was going to stick by it. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm pretty sure for those who are smart enough, they would kind of figure out exactly what it is that I'm talking about or what the scenario or whatever it is. You have a general idea of what it is that I'm going on about. And... I'm a little uneasy because it's something different, it's something new, it's a road that I'm traveling that I haven't gone, I haven't been on this road in so long, <laughs> and now that I'm like back on this road, it's so weird and it's a little uncomfortable, but you know what, I was on this road before and it led me to what I believed was something great and something special, and I have no doubt in my mind that me being back on this road will lead me, if that's God's will, that it will lead me back to something special. And hopefully the next time it does do that, it will be something that's true and that's real and not fake and unrealistic, uncaring. unfaithful you know it'll be something that I can truly say all right this is mine let's go for it minds and only minds something that I can truly say that I'm treasuring that it is my personal treasure and if that road does not lead me to that and it leads me to being alone then damn it I'm gonna be happy and alone because <laughs> I would definitely rather be alone and sad or whatnot than to be with someone and be horribly miserable. So big things for a wait. I'm just knocking down my goal list. <laughs> so cool beans. <laughs>